I'm going to introduce a little bit our company and then tell you about how we see the innovation in the turbo machinery space and in the software simulation space in turbo machinery, which we participate in, as well as share some interesting examples of things that we have developed with the help of the industry and uh, our partners and customers. So just a bit about our company. Uh, we were founded in 1999 uh, as a consulting company uh, doing uh, steam and gas turbine uh, design, analysis, and optimization. And as a result of our consulting, after several years in the field, we realized that it was not very efficient to do the work the way it was done for many years, and we needed to create some in-house software so that we can do our work better. Um, as a result of several more years in the industry, and based on the request of our customers, uh, we decided to commercialize our software package. And this is when our first baby version of Xtreme was born back in 2005. Um, our first customers then were MAN Turbo and Diesel in Germany uh, and Dusan uh, in Korea. So since then, our development philosophy and our philosophy in the industry has been working with our customers and trying to understand what challenges exist in the design space and how are people going about manufacturing, about service, about operations, and what other needs exist. And based on that, uh, we have developed our software suite starting from Xtreme, and we'll go into specific features that the industry asked for, etc. Um, we've also developed X-Cycle, because we realized that you can't just design a turbine or just design a compressor. These machines don't sit by themselves. They sit in a cycle of machines which cooperate together. And you have to look at everything from a system level before you can really analyze any component individually. Today, we're about 60 people. Uh, all of which, except me and one other person, are masters or PhD um, in turbo machinery. Um, as far as I know, we're the only company that has developed every feature, every solver in-house. We do consulting with our software and we do technical support for our software. So when somebody contacts our company, you're talking to somebody that developed the software that's using it for projects and they know every in and out, how to tweak any possible model and so on. So just to give you a quick overview of our technical management team, um, Dr. Moroz uh, is the founder of the company, and his background was larger machines, larger gas turbines, and larger steam turbines. Sorry. Uh, Dr. Frolov is our director of engineering, and he came to us from GE Energy in Russia. He manages our consulting practice, which is about still today about 50% of our business. Dr. Gavarushenko is our chief scientist. He's behind a lot of our modules and solvers. Not only that we use, but there are other software vendors in the market which license our solvers and our software and put it inside theirs because of how you know, good they are. Uh, Dr. Manenko is our structural expert. And Mr. Pagur, he was the chief engineer behind Xtreme, and now he's, he developed Xcycle two years ago. And we have three products in the pipeline to be out this year or next. All of the products I will show you and all of the features, they've come to solve specific problems which our customers had and they couldn't solve with their existing code and there was nothing in the market to help them. This is how we develop every feature from the beginning. So today, in 2015, as a company, we have several products, so Xtreme um, and Xcycle. We also offer engineering services, and we believe everything starts with education. So we have an online university, which all of our customers can use, as well as we teach workshops uh, across disciplines, ranging from fundamentals to practical aspects, whether you want to optimize a turbocharger, or design a supercritical CO2 cycle. We have a whole myriad of courses. So why is this specifically really important? We're not just a software company that wants to go buy some other software company and then say, now we can do A, B, C, D. We started with this. We said, we started from, let's optimize a turbine, let's optimize a compressor, 
let's design it from scratch, and we expanded our services. And based on that, we added features to our software as our engineers and our clients saw. So today, in addition to the commercial version of the software, maybe 20 to 30% of ideas that come, they come from universities. Uh, there's about 40 universities today which use our software for research purposes worldwide, as well as to teach their students fundamentals and so on. Um, another part of our ideas and features come from our customers. So as you will see from our technical support policy, a, something as simple as developing a loss model or as complicated, I'm sorry, this is jumping, or as complicated as, um, or as complicated as for a customer several years ago, they wanted to be able to optimize the amount of impulse and reaction in the blading. This is not a simple thing to do. It was not a feature we had, but just in several months we developed this feature for this customer and within six months they had a new product uh, in the market which kind of achieved their goals. Um, because we have five offices in different time zones, we're able to technical support 24 hours a day. And the need from industry is different. If you're talking to aerospace, there's certain constraints. If you're talking to power generation, there's other ideas. If you're talking about medical devices or appliances, there's even other ideas. We're able to bring all of these ideas together so our customers can learn from each other, not only from their, their competitors that are using the tools, but also from other verticals, which may be developing different materials, different loss models, working with different fluids and things like that. So today, uh, this is the majority of the sectors which we work with. Uh, we started, of course, with power generation and we've expanded to aerospace, uh, to clean technologies such as uh, ORC and supercritical CO2 cycles. And of course, for each of these things, to be able to do this, a new feature was born. The first project we did uh, using, using um, an ORC fluid, we had to think about how do we model this fluid. We had to look at the NIST database, and we developed a feature called the Fluid Designer, where our customers can not extrapolate, but use the real fluid properties as they are defined, and look at the effect uh, on, the, on the design of the machine, or test different fluids. Do I want to use R245FA or 134, and so on and so on. So I would say this is probably the most important slide, because as you see the development of the software, everything here came from certain customers asking for how do we do this? How do we do that? And can you help us? And we'll talk about some specific examples as we get there. Um, today, everything that we developed is encompassing from conceptual design, where we're in 0D, to preliminary design, 1D, mean line and streamline design, 2D, to complete optimization, profiling, structural, FEA, and CFD. Our goal is that when our customers are working with the flow path, when they're out of our platform, they're 95% done. No, we don't look outside of the flow. We don't look at the casing, for example, or other components. And yes, our customers still use other heavy-duty CFD packages like Star CCM, for example. But the idea is, instead of having a 20-person team with many different tools, have one platform so everybody speaks to each other. And the features that are developed are specifically based on use cases of our customers. So I'm going to specifically share some examples now which I thought were interesting for this conference uh, as well as relevant to, to crowdsourcing ideas. So this would be the first. Um, several years ago we were doing a project uh, for a company in Europe and they were studying a compressor and they would scan it or they had CAD models and then they were spending a lot of time working in CAD and it wasn't an efficient way to, to to do anything with it. And we called around the scanning companies and we said, does anybody have some quick way to extract real blade geometry, blade profiles? And this is a common problem for users of general machinery. Sometimes you buy a machine, but you don't have all the data. Um, so we created Xlice. Uh, with Xlice, you can take a cloud of points or a CAD model and extract the blade profile. So within five, 10 minutes, you can recreate a mean line or a streamlined model of the machine. 
It doesn't matter if it's axial, if it's radial, if it's a turbine, if it's a compressor, how many stages. It will work regardless, and then you now have a baseline which you can match with performance data and understand this is what machine is today. This is one example of our client uh, directed uh, and begged for feature which we developed. Another, I'd say, one of the second most important feature that came from a customer was our FEA module. A lot of customers mentioned to us that they have large OEMs, have some in-house code, they have some mainline code that came from academia or from many, many years of manufacturing data and experimental data, and then they have some database of profiles. So what's their design process like? They start with this profile, then they make some changes for a new machine, they do some optimization, and then they export somewhere and, they, and they're looking at stresses. If there's some issue, they have to import it back, and it's a very painful uh, iterative process. So this was kind of the introduction of an integrated FBA module, allowing you to look at the whole process. And if you see any issues, since it's inside one platform, you press a different button, and you say, okay, what can we do different? We change the profile, we recompute, and we kind of go forward with our design. And this saves significant, significant time in the design, analysis, and optimization process. Another feature was design on a project for Doosan Heavy Industries. Um, they were asking about cooling and, and leakages, and when we were working with them, it wasn't a feature that we had. So they had to work with our engineers and figure out how do we calculate this, how do we account for this, and a customizable leakage model was born. Since then, a lot of other customization came into the platform. Today, you can customize everything from loss models to material properties to fluid properties, even in some cases, computational methods. Another feature was also done for steam turbine OEM was adding the ability uh, to account for inductions. And this was done in several days. Because we're just one team of people, and it's engineers that are doing the development, the consulting, and technical support, when there's a reasonable request for any kind of feature, it gets done very, very fast. So this was done in three days, for example. As I mentioned, as another feature which we added was a customizable material property library. So as there's new alloys that come into the market and uh, people are looking at doing services or making new machines, how does one know, do the existing profiles which you have, which were made on older technology, how would they work with today's alloys? What if we change something else? What would be the effect on performance? So we introduced the feature to be able, you can, you can run your machine with basic steam, for example, and then you can change the fluid. You can also change the, ma the material of the blades. And you can run these kind of experiments in our, uh, in our optimizer to look at the effect of performance on power and any other criteria which you may find interesting. So this feature was introduced maybe four years ago. Uh, the feature for our customers to bring in their loss models. So currently we have every standard loss model and what's special about our package is if you're dealing with steam turbines, with axial turbines for example, or radial turbines, or centrifugal compressors, you have the option to choose different loss models. There's different formulation equations for every types of machine. But we want to go beyond that. You know, when, when a manufacturer goes from using an in-house tool to using a secondary tool, the question is always, how will simulation data match? Or what if you're doing R&D? So this specific example mentioned here, um, it was a company called Reaction Engines. It was a spin-out from Rolls-Royce. And they had older code, they had other things, but they wanted something which reflected their view of how turbo machinery needs to be designed. So they found a paper from iMeki Records from I think the 50s or the 60s, and they said, make us this loss model. We think it's better than what the industry is using. And, and that's what we did from them. And from them, it's become much more easier for people to bring in their own loss models, which is based on their experience and so on. And then the next thing, of course, was the fluid designer, which we released in the last couple of years. 
this became really important when we started working with different waste heat recovery and organic ranking cycle projects. Uh, people started studying what's the better fluid, how do we optimize for the cost of the fluid, its availability in the market, what's going to be affecting the performance, how do we have a competitive product in the market. So we developed this fluid designer. Uh, and now it's becoming increasingly useful as a lot of the industry we've seen working towards supercritical CO2 and other fluids and other mixtures. And, and then of course, aside from fluids and models, we moved from just working with an axial machine or a radial machine to more sophisticated projects. Um, this is an example of a machine we designed uh, with an axial radial compressor, which was all built, designed within the tool. Also for aerospace application, we were very recently in the last year added the ability uh, to design um, to diagonal compressors. So as we work with industry, as we work with our customers, as we talk to people that are looking for a software, uh, we ask for, learn about challenges. And this is how we've been developing the product from being a mean line code for axial turbines to being a sophisticated platform for development of axial, radial, mixed flow and counter rotating, turbines, compressors, pumps, fans and turbochargers. Of course, there's also more complicated things as you get into gas turbines and other machines. For example, here we added the ability to do drilled and rimmed nozzles, which was quite new to us when we started the project. And of course, Act Cycle was born. Uh, one of the biggest reasons for it, aside from um, just a customer needing something, they wanted to be able to look at the whole project. And they said, well, we have this, so this software for Cycle, and we're using you for mainline code, and how can we look at the whole system? We want everything to talk to each other. It's not reasonable to use three different packages. It really slows down the whole system. So we said, okay, how can we make something that understands our optimization process, that compares apples to apples when you're talking to performance maps, that understands the turbine, the compressor, the pump, and can talk to each of the components we designed within AppStream. And this is how AppCycle started. And of course, you can also customize everything from fluid properties to machines. In fact, some manufacturers, they load a database of their machines. So when they're doing a service project, they can say, if we change the cycle, if we do something to this plan, what would happen? So finally, it's easy to talk about features, but as with any software platform or any tool, tools can be dangerous. And we think that you can't design a turbine if you really don't understand every aspect of it. So we've developed a very comprehensive educational platform, starting from classes in our offices in Europe, in the US, in Asia, to teaching workshops in our customers' offices, where we will look at your manufacturing process or your services process. We will consult you how to implement the tools to integrate with what you're doing today and help train your junior engineers. And most recently, just this year, we released something called um, online soft and way uh, turbo machinery university where you have one hour lectures and quizzes where people can really learn everywhere where they feel there's a gap in their education to understand the whole process because we believe you can't just do one thing without seeing the whole picture so, so some key takeaways uh, by using crowdsourcing for ideas and for features and by doing everything in-house from the work ourselves to the development and we're able to work extremely, extremely fast. And from the first version of Axstream that was born in 2000, uh, 2005, with the first two clients of MAN and Doosan, to now over 200 customers ranging from military, defense, aerospace, power generation, oil and gas, we were able to work with our partners to develop these features, to develop the software, and to try to support the industry in, in learning from each other in a more coherent way. And if you have any questions, uh, please stop by our booth. We can show you any of the features you'd like to see. Uh, we're also doing a networking event tonight. You can come by for a drink. Please welcome. That's it. Thank you.